Hi guys, this is Ratchet Throw, and we are playing Criminal Case, City of Romans, Case 13, Queen of Hearts. Let's unlock Follow Your Hearts, number 3. Katarina, you already knew that the hearts feature on Lower F was bad news. But so we little of the Morse was to reveal that it's even worse than we imagined. Lola's murderer, Melody Lawrence, confessed to having a personal vendetta against attractive people. Which is why she added an algorithm in the app that makes good-looking people match only with incompatible partners, thus in her mind ensuring a lifetime of unhappiness. On top of that, the app is turning people into hearts of Seth's zombies. You saw what it did to Emil. You're right, our next port of call has to be to persuade lover CEO Simon Malou to remove this insidious feature right away. Carrie is currently supervising the cleanup of our crime scenes at the Rock and Vicente's music festival, so I shall accompany you instead. Dang, Katarina, your new preset is way nicer than our office in Grimsboro. You can even see the Eiffel Tower from here. Oh, hello, Jones. Sorry to interrupt, but one of your colleagues said it was cool to come and chat with you. Ah, you must be Jones. Katrina has told me so much about you. How will we be, we be of assistance? I was wondering if I could have a word with Katarina. Is this the famous Jones? Come, you can use my lab to sweep with Katarina. I'd love to get to know you more. You guys are all so nice. Alright, Katrina, why don't you speak with your old friend, and then we'll go have a war with Sam and Maloof. Right away. Let's first go to Sammy. Such, Katrina, I can't take you enough for exposing Melody Lawrence uh, Rollins for in the unhinged psycho she was. You really saved my skin, and Lawrence's reputation. Well, yes, but you saw what Melody had done to your app. The she didn't engineer this so that all the attractive people would never beat their soulmate. Yes, yes, and I can assure you that her pesky algorithm has been excised completely from the application. I saw it to it myself. Trebin. However, what about the fact that your heart's feature is making people obsessed? Just look at this footage of our colleague taking endless selfies and whitering non-stop about collecting the damn hearts. Let me see. Hmm, I agree that this man seems rather overexcited by the lover feature. But that's the whole point of social interaction tools, is it not? And since I have not heard of any other instances such as this, I'm reluctant to remove, let's be frank, such a fantastic money maker. Come back with more proof and you may change my mind. But for now, the hot feature is staying put. On a happier note, please accept this gift as thanks for your help in the investigation. Ugh. I don't think I like him. That man is more stubborn than my grandmother, Katarina. And she's a real terrier. Maluf says he wants yet more proof that the feature on his silly app is turning people into addicts. Good point. As a winner of the Haas competition, surely Lola the Moro became as obsessed as Emil, if not more. Maybe we could find something on Lola since that shows how the Haas affected her. Let's see if she left anything behind when she was murdered. Okay. Alright, let's now go to Joe's. What do you want, buddy? Katarina, I'm kinda worried about your colleague, Carrie. Oh, why? You're worried about La Jolie Carrie? Why? What happened? I bumped into her while she was supervising the cleanup of your crime scenes at Rock and Vincennes. And we ended up having a beer together, chatting about life back in the US. Thing is, she left at some point to use the washroom and never came back. That's not like Carrie. Let me call her. 
Why would the phone ring if uh, if you are giving the call? Hmm, it switched off. Oh no. Well, the phone signal at the festival was terrible. Anyway, I'm sure it's nothing. But maybe we should go look for Carrie. Of course we must. And I'll pay for a taxi to the festival so I can get there faster. Okay. Something else has to happen that will lead us to the next district. Alright, we are gonna go to forest first. Enchanted forest. Couldn't you have lost his belongings behind you in this pile of leaves, Katerina? Let's find out. Okay. Alright, now let's go to the main stage. Now I'm worried too. What if something happened to Carrie? Oh! Whoa there! Harry, what happened? Carrie, what happened to you? And so, I feel not good. Wait, why are you holding a bag of drugs? Look, Katrina, she's holding something in her hand. What are these blue pills? They must be what's making her sick. Quick, Katrina, get a sample of the, of the pills while I look after Carrie. Some sort of drug? Oh no. Why did you have it in your hands? Did somebody tell her to take them? Ugh, anyway. Oh. A diary. With Lola's initials. How fortunate to find the diary of Lola hiding under the pile of leaves, Katerina. There's bound to be something here related to her experience with the Lover app. Let's ask Emma to sift through its contents. Yeah. Okay. Now let's take some pills. Well, not take them as in... As in, drink them. But just take them for analysis. Katarina, I need to check out these pills in my lab. And poor Karen needs to go straight to Nadia. She'll know how to look at her till I find out what's in these damn things. Yeah. Is there something interesting in Lola's diary? We? We? That's exactly how I felt. Oh, you found something? Bonsoir, Emil. You seem totally engrossed in Mademoiselle du Boris's diary. I can certainly relate to it. That's for sure. 
You see, from her diary, his Kyoto Lola also became completely consumed by the hot feature on Lover. Look, here's a page which she literally covered with hot doodles. And not only that, she recounts a number of occasions where she went out of her way to get hearts. One of which included French kissing the toothless octogenarian baker on her street and forced him to download the app just so he could give her hearts. Oh jeez. Mon Dieu, that does sound rather extreme. Another thing I should mention is that Lois' friends as a princess was with her during quite a few of these obsessive moments. Uh huh, so we should go ask Mademoiselle Princess for her take on the whole affair. And you're right, Katarina. We should bring Simon Maloof with us. With Sazus' testimony and his diary entries, he won't be able to deny that something is very wrong with this feature of his. I'll let help, Katarina. Let's go have a go with Sasa print temps. Yeah. That is so addictive. Okay, what about the pills that Carrie ingested? Hey, Enzo. I hope you don't mind, but Katria said I could come to your lab to check up on Carrie. No problem. Oh la la. I could tell you was touch and go there with her. But well, luckily I managed to analyze those pills my belly Carrie had taken in time and give her the appropriate antidote to counter their effect. That's great. What was in those pills anyway? There are these new metamethanin drug called Zarbi that's all, that's all the rage at the moment. They could be lethal when mixed with alcohol. And Carrie had some beers with me before popping them. Oh dear, so somebody tried to kill Carrie. Katarina, I don't know Carrie well, but she doesn't seem the drug taking type to me. No, she isn't. She most certainly isn't. Which is why we need to find out why she took them. Katarina, I'm going to go take care of Carrie now. She should be off for speaking in a few hours, so join us then and we can ask her what happened. Okay. Alright, first let's go to Sasa. And Sami, you need to hear about this. Sergeant Katarina, I hope, you're, I hope you're not wasting my time here. I'm a very busy man. Trust me, Mr. Malou, you'll want to hear this. Mademoiselle Printemps, may I present Simon Malou, CEO of Lover. Please tell him how the Haas competition affected your friend Lola. Ah, don't remind me. Lola was totes addicted. All she cared about was where and how to get her next heart hit. You can't imagine the number of times she forgot she was supposed to beat me because she was too busy chasing hearts. One time, she even tried to persuade me to have a threesome, threesome with some random dude she picked up off the street because he promised he'd send her more hearts right after. Dear. It got so bad I finally took her phone and threw it in the Saiyan. She was mad at first, but eventually got over it and her addiction. So you see, Monsieur Malou, your little feature is destroying people's lives. If you need more evidence, here is Mademoiselle de Morris's diary with further proof of her heart's obsession. Well now, I must admit that this new information makes for quite a compelling argument. I promise you I shall present everything to my lawyers and be in touch with my final decision. Au revoir for now. Mademoiselle Printemps, thank you so much for your help with all this. Avec plaisir, but I was wondering if I could ask you for some help in return. Lola had a hair comb that she bought on our last holiday together. I'd love to have it to remember her by. I call her taking the comb off in the VIP tent. Could you go and find it for me? Of course. We'll head to the tent as soon as we had a little pit stop for food. This all was a pair of time after all. Uh, 
Okay. Carrie, why did you take those pills after you were drinking beer? Do you need anything else, my bill? Whatever you want, I'm here for you. And so, we already done more than enough. Oh, hey, Katarina. Thank you so much for helping me. And please thank Jones, too. If it wasn't for his concern about me, I might be dead. Carrie, now if you're feeling better and Katarina is here, we need to ask you why you took those drugs in the first place. Oh god, I had no idea they were drugs. You don't know. It's all a bit hazy now, but if I remember correctly, I was looking for the restrooms at the festival when my head started hurting. I must have been messaging my head because some guy came up to me and said he has some aspirin. I guess I was feeling kind of tipsy, which is why I took his pills without thinking. Next thing I knew, I woke up in your arms, and so. Well, it's a relief to know you're not a drug pusher, but it might be a good idea to go easy on the alcohol for a while. Don't you worry, I'll be staying sober and drug free for the foreseeable future. So, a drug dealer came to you. Is that what we are going to investigate next? Drug dealers? Well, anyway, let's go back to the VIP tent at the festival to find Lola's hair comb. Here it is, but I can't click on it just yet. Katarina, could this be Jewel piece of metal be the hair comb that Sasa was talking about? Let's fix it and find out. Okay. Alright, let's restore the comb. Oh, not a bad hair comb after all. Fancy one. The hair comb is always as pretty as its owner. Katrina, leave Lawson's comb with me. I'll get it back to Zaza. Meet you back at the precinct. Okay. Carrie, it's a relief to see you back in good health. I know, it's great not to see everything blurry anymore. Hans has been taking such good care of me. He barely left my side the whole time. The whole time I was feeling sick. Ugh. I gotta say I see the different, more gentle side to him today. Ah, Sher Enzo. He is, how do you say in English? All bark and no bite. He's just a little puppy. Speaking of animal behavior, Katrina and I finally convinced the CEO of Lover that his heart's feature is making people go cuckoo. And Malou just called me to say that he's going to remove the feature from the app immediately. So that's great news all around. We, oui. I say it calls for a celebration at our nearest watering hole. Ale hop. I'll be sticking to sparkling water, Katarina. That's it. Nothing else. Oh. Oh dear. That's like a massive hole in her body. Oh dear. How many cases in here? Two. Well, this game is very, very short and we are almost at the end of it. Alright, we're gonna stop here. We're gonna continue playing in case number, which one? 14, in Jealousy. So, take 
for watching. Don't forget to leave a like to this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye.